you're one of those perfect mm-hmm. stories of why stats and, and the stories behind those stats are important. Ask Dr. Gray pre-med Q&A brought to you by Blueprint MCAT Prep. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I am great. What can I help you with? So I wrote in a question in, I think, December, um, but it was basically about I'm in the current cycle right now applying to school and um, basically haven't heard anything back. That was in December. So now it's February and I've kind of like basically accepted the fact that I'm probably not getting in this year. Okay. <laughs> but um, that was basically then. Um, now I'm basically just kind of doing some self-reflection about my application yeah. and um, like what else I can do, hopefully to just reapply in this upcoming cycle in the summer okay. if I can get all my stuff together. So. Okay. Yeah. So this is this is an application renovation question uh, on Ask Dr. Gray. I love it. Um, have you heard of a- uh, application renovation? Okay. Yes, I have watched like binged videos. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So if you've watched those videos, why do you think you haven't had any luck with the application cycle? Well, I think for so for one, I was the whole covid and cat thing so okay so let's take in may got pushed back and then got pushed back again so i took it about the end of july i think so got my score back like early august i had submitted because i was scoring pretty well like um mm. like 508 was my last score so i was like okay like i can do it yeah <laughs> so i went in but got back my score and it was a 500 okay so i already had submit to all my schools i didn't send secondaries to some of them that were like my 515 and up schools so i was like I don't know about those. Well, let, let me lives, let me but, stop um, you there. Dio, maybe I had a chance. But... Let, let me stop mm-hmm. you there. What is a five fifteen and up school? Um, one from Ohio. So all of the ones that were like Cincinnati. No, Ohio no, no, State, no. But but um, what makes a school oh. a five fifteen and up school? Oh, just their average. But I know you say you never know. But <laughs> okay, so <laughs> when you say average. You're talking about the mm-hmm. the MSAR, correct? Yeah, or whatever, yeah. Okay. So on the MSAR, the number that they show is the median, not the average. Mm-hmm. The median says that 50% of the class is below that number. Mm-hmm. So when you say it's a 515 school, you're basically only recognizing half of the class at that school. So there is no such thing as a 515 school. It's a school Mm -hmm. who has a median MCAT score of 515. And my biggest problem with students using MCAT and GPA to apply to schools is that if you only apply to schools where your MCAT or GPA are in the same range, then all that's doing is perpetuating the same stats every single year. But we don't know what the real stats are. Right. We don't know what the low end of, of Ohio State will take. Why? Mm-hmm. Because they're not super transparent. No school is about where their true cutoffs mm-hmm. are. Okay. So you basically said, I'm going to say no to you. I'm not going to let you say no to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does that yeah, make sense? Basically. Okay. So random random yeah. tangent aside. So your MCAT came back <laughs> low, right? Compared to where you wanted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Outside of the MCAT, mm-hmm. why do you think you didn't get much action? Um, well, my GPA isn't great. It's okay. uh 3.47, I believe. Okay. Um, and what's the trend with behind my that? My sophomore year being the trend, okay, I knew you were going to say it, so I memorized my numbers. <laughs> so freshman year, I was at like a three, six, four. Okay. Um, and then sophomore year, I dropped pretty low. I got, I was, like, my average was like a three, one. Okay. Um, and then my junior year was a three, six, and then my senior year was a three, seven. Okay. What was your sophomore year again? Three, one? It was like a three, one or a okay. two, nine. Okay. 
something. It was pretty low. I know okay. that. Yeah. All right. Let's say it's a two nine because we we like to exaggerate okay. our stats. Um, so you <laughs> you started off strong. You had a dip and you finished strong. So mm-hmm. you're one of those perfect mm-hmm. stories of why stats and and the stories behind those stats are important. So GPA, I'm not super concerned mm-hmm. about. MCAT obviously can can be much better. What about clinical experience mm-hmm. and shadowing and all that fun stuff? Um, so clinical experience, I actually thought I had my clinical experience probably I could have more, um, but I had a decent amount. I had about 60 hours from hospice okay. um, care center, just being a volunteer and like working with families and stuff. Um, and then my shopping, I had probably about a hundred hours. Okay. I was able to get in contact with a bunch of doctors and shadow them a lot. A lot higher. Um, and then I had some other extracurricular stuff. Um, and then I think maybe I'm just not that great of a writer. So I've been going back to my personal statement and really trying to like reflect on that and see if I can improve that in some way. I don't think maybe my story got across as well as I thought it did, you know, so I don't know. When you, you have 60 hours of hospice, when were those hours? Mm-hmm. Um, spread out from, I think it was like 2017, like up until COVID. Okay. So 2018. Up okay. COVID. So 60 hours over the course of a few years. So not a huge mm-hmm. commitment. So your clinical hours to me mm-hmm. are also a big issue. Um, okay. so, so I would try to get some more clinical experience as well. Hospice is amazing clinical experience, mm-hmm. but in my mind shouldn't be the bulk of your clinical experience because it's okay. not traditional patient interaction. Um, okay. and, and so I would try to get some more traditional patient interaction as well on top of that. Okay. So it sounds like you have kind of a roadmap moving forward. Better MCAT score, some clinical experience, and then <laughs> tweaking essays, right? Just making your 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 personal uh-huh. statement, your story stronger. And I, I talk about all of those in my application renovation videos. Um, obviously, in my personal statement book, I have a new book coming out. Um, a little bit um, kind of closer to the application cycle this year, the 2021-2022 application cycle called the Pre-Med Playbook Guide to the Medical School Application. Um, I'll send you a, a copy of that as well. So um, that <laughs> that you. should help help solidify. Too, yeah, so. good. Uh, that should help solidify <laughs> how to write your secondaries, how to write your okay. um, activity descriptions, all that kind of fun stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and then I guess another question you said the GPA was not something to super worry about. Um, I was going back through all of that. And then my only question is just because my father actually works at the university that I went to. Okay. So I have free school until I'm 26. Okay. So do you think, so you don't think it'd be worth it to go back and take a few more science classes or just that it's free. I was like, I could, you know, but yeah, you could, I mean, a higher <laughs> GPA will never hurt. Okay. The question is with everything right. else that you need to be doing, retaking the MCAT, getting some more experiences, will you have time to take some classes mm-hmm. and get A's in them? Okay. okay. If you can do that, great. Well, my, my, yeah. Okay. Right. Perfect world. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So for, for clinical experience, um, my mom actually is a physician. So with COVID and everything, it's been pretty hard. I've been kicked out of hospice for yep like what almost a year now it's crazy but um my physician just said that i could come in and kind of like scribe with her would yep. that be um good for clinical or clinical hours or would that be frowned upon because she's my mom or uh i don't think it would be frowned upon because she's your mom i wouldn't get a letter of recommendation okay. from her um right. i would i would go and get experience and, and the fact that you're your mom is a physician, that makes your clinical experience that much more important. One of the biggest issues that I see with kids whose parents are in and around healthcare, specifically physicians here, obviously, is that students don't have enough clinical experience to formulate on their own why they want to be a physician. So it looks like the very standard, mommy's a doctor, I want to be a doctor for for the mm-hmm. story of of why you're doing this so right. definitely uh, even a mm-hmm. bigger red flag for me is the lack of clinical experience okay yeah i guess now that you're like 
back to me. I did. I obviously I wrote a personal statement, and I yeah, I wonder if that kind of fed back as like, oh, does she really even know what she's doing? Yeah. Yep, that's always the question. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um well yeah all right well i have some work to do i just was when i messaged you in um december i was just waiting to hear back from a few schools which i've heard back from a few few haven't said anything yeah. but i was just worried because i didn't want to put out another you know 400 500 on mcat stuff and then get accepted somewhere but now i feel like it's february it's probably safe to schedule for an MCAT, take it in April, May, and then yeah. apply again if I if I can do that. Yeah. Have you looked at Blueprint's wow. new live online course? I've looked at it. I do think that I might need some sort of course or some sort of tutor or something. Mm. Obviously, there's something that, like went wrong, you know? So. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the new Blueprint live online course is is one that I would recommend. Their course materials okay. are, are top notch. They have the best full length exams out there besides the AAMC. Uh, and then what the live online course allows you to do is, is really hone in on all of the content, but then also have live instructors there with you over the courses of, uh, of a bunch of classes that you can reschedule if you're, if, if you have conflicts, mm -hmm. but there's two instructors oh, there right. so that they can answer all of your questions on top of office hours normally that they have where you can just drop in and ask questions. So really awesome okay. course, great value. So I would, I would check that out. Okay. All right. Well, awesome. good luck I to will. you. Some things to work on and hopefully next application mm -hmm. cycle will be the one that gets you into school. Yes. Thank you very much for you, everything that you put out and thanks for Skyping with me today. You are welcome. <laughs> have a good one.